Hey everyone, Cindy here with Grom Soy Machine Company in San Antonio, Texas, and now Universal City, Texas. So today we thought we'd do something a little bit different. We've got a new box of goodies and a whole bunch of fabrics that we wanna share with you. Um, so I'm excited to open this box because these are all new items that we have not carried in San Antonio and of course here in Universal City. So let's take a peek and see what's inside. Okay, so let me see. Let's get this. I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. So we'll try and do some of these little unveilings for you so that way you can get an idea of the products that are coming in. Um, and if there's anything that you think we need to carry, just send us a a message on our Facebook. I'm sure you're following us. If not, make sure you do. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have lots of books. Can you take a little peek here? All right, so let's start with, we've got this new ruler. It's the diamond ruler. It's a 60 degree and it's by Creative Grids. And there's a lot of new patterns coming out that are using these creative grids so if you like creative grids make sure to come and grab the new ones let me see what else ah we have another little ruler here it's called the sidekick um, and it cuts three shapes in four different sizes for you piecers and quilters out there let's see ah somebody asked us about the flower dance embroidery designs so we now have those back in stock for you. Um, here in, in Universal City, we've never carried them, but we do have the sample here now. We've got the pattern for you. And this little template is kind of cool. Honestly, we just ordered one, uh, but we thought it was really cool and we wanted to test it out. We've got some fabric that's coming in. So instead of cutting all these little strips of fabric, the fabric we ordered is actually already variegated in different shades and it is really cool. So we're excited to try this one. It's called the Lawn Star. Can you see that? It's all shiny. Oh, shiny. shiny. We don't want shiny. No. There Can you go. see that? Lawn Star. It's kind of cool. Um, and like I said, that fabric that's coming instead of collecting all these fabrics, or you may already have them, um, it's a pretty cool fabric, so we're excited to try this. Then we have, I'm sure some of you have seen uh, her on video, but we've got this new book, So Very Easy, and uh, it's got 12 skill building projects, and uh, it's kind of a really nice book for you quilters, and it just gives you a whole bunch of different patterns that you can um, decide to do. And some are pretty darn simple. So you can finish up a quilt real easily, especially with uh, the holidays coming around and you might wanna hand out some quilts. So make sure if you like her that you come and pick up her book. Um, here's another one, it's called Walk, Jog and Run. And this is um, building exercises. And I believe it is for free motion quilting. And it also gives you patterns uh, to make different different quilts. There's some of the free motion. So I know a lot of my quilters out, to, out there love this kind of stuff. Look at that, that's really cute, that little flower. And this one, like I said, is called Walk, Jog, or Run. And uh, come and pick your copy up. Then we have ooh, another cute little book. It's called Charming Baby Quilts. And it's just little simple quilts with the little easy layout for you on how to make these simple little, they're calling them baby quilts, but I bet they could be for anybody. What do you think? Um, very nice little book. And um, here's another book, Labor of Love. And this one is by Sherry McConnell. Scrappy quilts at the heart of home. And here you've got, I hope you can see this, uh, some more patterns. 
Those are kind of cute, aren't they? Look at that. Sometimes I know we like to buy books instead of patterns and then you just kind of kind of keep it and then go back to it. And uh, <clears throat> we thought we'd order quite a few books for you guys over here. Here is 25 Days to Better Machine Quilting. This is a really good book because it helps you uh, plan out your free motion quilting. Just giving you a little sneak peek here. Those Look at that. are so cute. Isn't that adorable? Anybody, I think, could uh, do this little flower free motion. And if you're not a free motion quilter, but you want to learn, uh, make sure that you are subscribing to our emails because we do have a beginner free motion quilting class coming up uh, with Karen. And uh, it is going to be limited to nine students. So first come, first serve. Whoever signs up first and pays for their class will be guaranteed a seat. Here is Jenny from One Block. Some of you have heard of that One Block uh, wonder. Oh, look, here we go. There's that, that pattern uh, that uses the template. And uh, so this is how you do, I guess this is your One Block wonder. And she uses jelly rolls a lot in here. But this might be a fun book for you to play with and do your one block wonders, right? And come get your fabrics here because we've got some really cute fabrics. Then we have, let's see, lots of books for you actually. I'll try to make it quick. So here's some more quilting books. Oh, that's the same. Uh, twist and turn quilt blocks, that's kind of cool. And uh, you can do some little table runners. You can do some little throw quilts. Look at that, that's just too cute. So that's another book for you. And do you like to make pot holders? Holidays are coming up. So pot holders too. Some of you might've had uh, their first version and here is another one with all the different little designs. But you know what? It doesn't necessarily have to be a pot holder. You, I bet you could make all these squares, these different ones, and come up with a quilt, right? That looks like a fun book. And now we've got holiday one. Ho, 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 just in time for Christmas. This one's called Better Not Pout. And look at that, is that not cute? That's your little candy canes back there. Well, not candy canes, but your little, what are those called, Hannah? Peppermints. Peppermints, yes, peppermints. That's really cute. So uh, there's, all your patterns are inside there. You've got some appliques, I think. And uh, look at those cute little stockings. Make sure you come and pick up this one so you can be ready for your Christmas gifts. Uh, we're a little behind on this one, but it's here for next year, right? Uh, this one is really cute. This is Spectacular Halloween Quilting. Isn't that adorable? If you like Halloween, it gives you all these little patterns on the inside. Um, and some are pretty simple. Like, you could probably finish that one up and hang it on your door. That's really cute. And just a quick little sneak peek. Look at, oh, those are cute. And you know, they don't necessarily have to be Halloween fabrics. You can make it with whatever you want. That's cute. So this is your Halloween. Look at her. That's cute. Okay. I get excited. This one is called Table Tasket. Table Tastic. <laughs> that, that was a tongue twister. So there's 20 patterns for table runners and toppers in this book. So gives you a cute, quick little idea. Here we go. So, and you know what I like about all these books is that they're reasonably priced. So, I'll find out if you guys like books. If we sell out quick, then I know, order some more books, right? I really don't know what everybody, um, what everybody wants, um, but like here in Universal City, where I know what my San Antonio people like, so I'm trying to figure out what Universal City um, likes, but if you can comment below, let us know what kind of sewing you do, quilting, embroidery, what you would like to see. That way we can make sure and order this stuff in for you, right? 
That's the only way we're gonna know is if you tell us and then we can have what you want. Now this one is called Beyond the Tea, Innovative T-Shirt Quilts. But you know, it's, it's a little different from your typical T-Shirt Quilt. Usually your T-Shirt Quilt is your typical squares, right? So this one shows you how to do it and incorporate it into different patterns. I thought that was kind of cool. Here's a little, a little glimpse of the back. I don't know about y'all, but my daughter uh, just graduated from college and she has a lot of, I kept all her t-shirts from elementary through high school and part of college. And I told her I'd make her a t-shirt quilt, but they didn't know where to start. So I'm gonna take a look at this book and see if there's something in here that will work for me to make her her quilt. That one's kind of different. So if you're into t-shirt quilts or you want to make a t-shirt quilt and you don't know where to start, here's a good little book for you, okay? So what else do we have? Oh, let me see. So in San Antonio, we had uh, these little password organizer books. The computer savvy people, well, you know how to go and save all your passwords in the cloud, right? But not all of us are computer savvy. So I bought these little password books and I'll tell you what, we could not keep them in stock. So they're available now and we have them in the butterfly print and there's a different print too if I can find it. We'll come across it in a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure where they're at. Okay, here's another cute little project. This is called So Organized. It's a pattern, right? And what I like about it is it comes with its own little stand. So you just set it right by your sewing machine and put your little rotary cutter, scissors, pencils, rulers that will fit in there. Whatever it is that you're using for that particular project. Isn't this cute? I really, really, really like it. Can you see it better? And it's not badly priced. It's only uh, $16.99. And like I said, that includes the stand. So you can't go wrong with that, right? Okay, so let's see what else we have. Do you guys remember those little uh, peels that, that were real popular a while back? and uh, they went around your spool of thread. Well, I found them again, but I found them in their own little packaging and I thought they were so cute. So if you're one of those that your threads are all tangled up and you don't know what to do, make sure you come and pick up your little uh, peel spool holder. Just wraps around your spool of thread and keeps that tail in there so that your threads don't get tangled up. And then we ordered its partner, which is called the Bobbin, the Bobbinis is what it is. But this little thing, I don't know if you can really see it there. It goes on the top of your spool of threads so that you keep your bobbin for that thread uh, together. So these are really popular. They're not bad, $8.99, and you get quite a few of them, 12 pieces. So what a deal, right? What a deal. Okay, now, let's see. We've got some more rulers. We have the, the little mini diamond ruler. Um, that's a, gonna be a fun ruler. And then we brought in the little three and a half by three and a half grid ruler because a lot of people like it and it was one that we were lacking in stock. So here you go if you wanted that tiny ruler. And then, so I'm really excited for uh, my teachers to try this. This is a handy, iron off pencil. So it's an accurate tool for long arm quilting. And I believe what it does is it will mark your fabric for you and then it disappears with a hot iron. So what a cool way for you to design your designs on your quilt and not worry about, is it gonna come out? So I'm excited about this new product. I think we can use it for almost everything though. I'm gonna test it out for sure. All right, now, we got some new little scissors in by Mundial. They're six and a half inch scissors. Um, pretty inexpensive, you guys. They're only $5.99. I did order a lot of uh, different scissors, but you know what? 
so much of my stuff got put on back order. It's kind of how it is right now with COVID, right? But it's slowly coming in. Everybody is slowly catching up with all their orders. Um, to go along with that tea book, that t-shirt book, we've got the Quilt Tea Fusible Woven Cotton uh, interfacing so that you can iron on the back of your t-shirts so that they're not stretching on you while you're sewing. Um, not bad, $19.99. We've got a few of those in stock. And um, here we go, patterns. It's called Mini Brick Road. Could you just see this in your holiday fabric, whether it's fall or Halloween or Christmas? Um, that's a cute little, a cute little pattern. Then we've got, um, for you embroiderers out there, this is called Me Without You. And there's a cute little girl in there and she's got some little sayings next to her. I'll turn it around. No, you can probably see it there, hopefully. Can you see that? No, it's all blown I'm out. excited uh, to embroider this out. I really wish that the vendors would send us these designs so that way we could sew them out and have a nice sample for you. Uh, but this, I think, is really cute. If you've got granddaughters or girls in school, I, I think this would be a really cute little quilt for you. Then, this one was one of my favorites. Uh, this one is called Midnight Explosion. For you embroiderers, look at this. Is that not beautiful? Well, that's all embroidery? It's embroidery. And I think wow. I saw it in the book as like a runner, but I think it's designed for you to just keep adding on, so you could probably do whatever you want with it. Um, and it comes with its little USB stick with the designs already pre-loaded for you. I'm excited to try this one out. So I did try to order some embroidery designs because they're really hard to, to come by. Um, here's another pattern that's called uh, Summer Days. I, I know we're just about done with summer, but why not winter days and use winter colors, right? <laughs> so this one is really cute and it's only $9. Um, it uses um, 32 fat eights. So that's not bad, right? And uh, it's a finished size of 72 by 72. I thought it was adorable. You know, if you start it now, you can have it done by before the summer, probably the spring, right? Get it all pieced and then, uh, and then, and then get it quilted. All right, so now we've got Elvira. And this is kind of an interesting quilt, but I'm, I'm a, a piecer that, that is not just straight lines. I like weird stuff like this, so I thought this was pretty cool. So there's that pattern. Then we've got this one that's called uh, Starline, and it's a bit different, more modern, I think, uh, for our modern quilters, but I thought this one was kind of cool, too. There we go. That's so pretty. Got it? So now here's one that is done. I'm gonna say that it looks like it can be done in batiks because that's what the pattern looks like, but I could be wrong. Anyway, this one is done with nine fat, uh, nine fat quarters and it's called Windblown. And they use bright colors, so you can do K-Facet because, or Tulip Pink, or you can do Fall. Here's Ombre Daydream. That's kind of a cool um, pattern there. Then we've got Migration. Actually, a lady came in here today, uh, Cynthia, with one very similar to this, and it is so pretty. Um, this one is done in batiks. And then we've got Bumblebee Blossoms. She's kind of cute, right? Angle it down. And I think there's a whole line of uh, Bumblebee fabrics coming out. So here we have Venus, another little wonky pattern that I liked. And then we've got uh, Free Fall. Now that's really cool. I thought that was pretty. And then we've got, okay, and so here we have Pickup Sticks. That one's cute. It's using jelly rolls. I thought that was pretty simple. I tried to pick patterns. It's gonna let you uh, finish them really quick. And for all you puppy lovers, here's another cute one. This one's called The Puppy, so here we go. I'm a puppy lover. And Jelly Weave, that's another cute one that I think you could finish up pretty quickly. 
And let's see. Oh, now this one's amazing. The sparkler, look at that one. Might not finish it as fast, but I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, Cecily, if you're watching, this might be a cute one for your class. Who likes cats? I like cats, we have two cats. So this one is called Catwalk, look at that. Now remember last time we showed you our ombre fabric? We have this fabric, ladies. Come buy your fabric, come buy the pattern, and let's make Catwalk. I like it. Um, stand out, here's another one. I kinda like this one, it's a little bit different. Um, and then for um, the cancer awareness, we've got this one here for you. Of course, you know you can make it in the red or you can make it in the blue. And then we have Vintage Windmill. That one's kind of cute too. I like the brights. You know me and brights, right? I love brights. And Ocean Window, that one's kind of pretty. And I think, I think for our notions, that's it. Oh, no. A few more designs, embroidery designs. So for all you people that like to embroider mylar uh, or just enjoy um, Pearly Gates design, so we brought in the boots because why? Because we're in Texas. So this one's cute. And then I did one with pickle pie and it's just a cute little in the hoop design. So you could do a little makeup bag, a little sunglass bag, and I think a little hot uh, for your curling iron. So that one's cute. And we sold out of this one, so we had to bring them back. This is the Twilight uh, Boulevard. Boulevard from Kimberbell. So we've got these back in stock. And I think that's it. Do you want to see some new fabric? Yes, because I'm excited about our fabrics. Before I know it, I'm going to fill this whole store up with fabrics, right? Fabrics, sewing machines, notions. We're, we're gonna be the store that you just can't stay away from. Well, at least that's what we hope, right? Okay, so let me move some of this over here. Lots of inventory to put out. Uh, we're trying to bring in new stuff weekly, monthly. That way, um, you'll wanna come here to shop, right? And we appreciate that so much. So I got two bolts, I'm not sure why. Uh, I think they were placed on back order, but these are Banyan Batiks. And uh, here we go. They're real, really, really pretty, right? Can you see them? Then we got uh, today some Free Spirit fabric. This is a new collection. And I believe this is all Kaif. Yes, so this is part of his new collection, all you Kaif lovers. Here we go, can you see that? Yummy, right? Look at those. Suzanne, if you're watching, I thought about you when I picked this one out. Look at that. So let me set those down. And here's a really pretty red one that just came in. Isn't that pretty? And let's see, here's some more. Ooh. All right, here we go. There's this one. Ooh, look at this one. Pretty. Do you like Kaif? Most people do, right? Here's another one. Look at this one. I liked this one because you can use this one with a lot of stuff. Ooh, but look at this one in the blue. We have it in a different color there, but look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? So that's Kaif. And then for those of you that want some backing 108s, I don't know what happened. I ordered a lot of 108s and they either got put on back order or something happened. Uh, but here's this one. We only got three bolts. So here's this one. Um, I picked this one out because sometimes ladies make their the top of their quilts colorful and they want a colorful backing. So I thought that was cute. Then here's this, ooh, that's heavy, this brown one uh, with the fall coming up. And then here's a little green one. And I think, I think that's blue. Oh, is it blue? These are, uh, these three are by Henry Glass. And then we've got, well, let me show these first. Oh. So there's a new collection of red work fabric coming out. And it is put out, I believe, by Moda. 
and they sent me the jelly rolls. So, and one of the reasons that I went with this red work fabric is because they've got some beautiful shades of red in those fabrics. Reds that I'm, that I'm missing in the store. So anyways, we've got those jelly rolls and let me come around the front real quick. This is that red work fabric that I was telling you about. Look how yummy and rich. Can you see from there these reds are? I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Look at that one. And there, and you know what? There isn't one that is identical to the other. I think it's just beautiful. Look at this one. I mean, can you see that, that red, right? It's beautiful. And it has a very fine pattern or texture to it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Here's another one. Those pretty little red flowers. Here we go. There's this one. Just, it's a different shade. It's very similar to this one, but a different shade, right? And we've got this one, kind of the same again, right? But different shade, which we needed. We needed all of that in here. Here's this one, isn't that pretty? And the last one, here we go. Very similar to the first one, but you see the different color? Very nice. All right, let's peek in this new box, in this other box. Oh, more red work. Okay. So I think I ordered the whole line. I think I went a little crazy. So there's this one. Look how pretty. Very deep, deep red. And there's this one. Are you getting them, Hannah? Mm -hmm. There's that one. There's this one. So this is a little bit unusual for me because as you know, if you've been following me, I like brights, right? But I just couldn't keep my eyes off of these. I thought they were just beautiful. So there you go. You've got some darker colors. And with it being fall just around the corner, these are perfect colors. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is it. I hope you've enjoyed our uh, unboxing of new items and um, we will try and do this again. We only thought to do it today because believe me, I have to check this stuff in and the warehouse was full of boxes and is still full of boxes. But I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything that you want, make sure you come on in or give us a call. Currently, all the new items are only in our Universal City store. So make the drive out here. We'd like to see you. Until next time, everybody. Bye.